Hello guys, Robot one here, and welcome to the Future of Yu-Gi-Oh! A segment on my channel where you look at cards coming out later in the game, discuss them, talk about them, and see how good they're going to be. And in today's Yu-Gi-Oh! video, we're going to be looking at the new Crystal Beast monsters, where they have all the dark armor from the anime that we've been waiting for for how many years for Konami to release, along with a new hero card that Konami have released that I think is just absolutely insane. So guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and look at these cards, see how good they're going to be, and just in general discuss them because I haven't read the Crystal Beast cards, but I did read the new hero card, so let's go ahead and get into it. So starting off, we have the Advanced Crystal Beast with some N Shuffle. So N Shuffle is the new card, and we're going to go into head and get into it right away. So N Shuffle is a normal spell card that you can use both the first and second effect on the same turn. Its effects are 1. Shuffle 1 elemental hero or neo-spatial monster you control into the deck and if you do, switch some 1 elemental hero or 1 neo-spatial monster from your deck with a different name. So this card in general is just absolutely insane. The fact that this card has the ability to just shuffle away your Stratos and then summon Shadow Mist from the deck allowing you to grab Mass Change and also gain advantage is just insane because when you really think about it if you pair this card with literally any elemental hero monster or neo spatial monster that's a guaranteed dark lore but on top of that if you have hero lives in this you not only get a guaranteed dark lore but you go ahead and get the specials on the stratos that gives you the free search then you go ahead and activate this put back the stratos and get the shadow mist to get the mass change which just allows you to have more otk potential and also guaranteed dark lore turn one like honestly I read this card and could not believe that Konami gave us the ability to literally just be like, oh yeah, this Stratos that's on our board, we're just going to put it back in the deck, summon the Shadow Mist from the deck, and then get a free Mask Change card, and just go from there. And I I, I just couldn't believe that, because it means that being able to summon Shadow Mist and special summon it from the deck has become even easier. It gives us access into new ways to actually play heroes as well, because it means that we don't necessarily have to rely on the Vision heroes anymore, because of playing this means, oh yeah, we can just go ahead and play free of this. Don't have to rely on Increase and Forest and all these cards that really do lock us into things. And just go ahead and have a completely new way to play heroes. Because literally any hero can now equal Dark Claw. Which I think is really, really insane. Just being able to just go, yeah, I normal summon this really bad hero, say Elemental Hero Ocean. And then put it in the deck, summon Shadow Mist and just go from there. And I think that's really, really cool. And playing like free of this, free hero lives along with free equal that's pretty much going to be a guaranteed dark lord every game and i could really see some control dark lord builds coming out of the woodwork thanks to this card as well which i think is really really cool but on top of all of that this card actually has an additional effect that isn't the best because it does require a bit more but is actually Pretty decent nonetheless, so let's go ahead and read it. So second effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard, shuffle one Elemental Hero and one Neo Spatian or Elemental Hero Neos from your graveyard into the deck and then draw one card. So pretty much, not only does this card have the ability to just go ahead and tag out a hero to summon out the Shadow Mist, but this also has the ability to recycle your heroes in graveyard and Neo Spatians to just go ahead and draw a card. So not only could you be playing this in say a neo spatian deck well the neo um spatian connector to go ahead and summon out the aqua dolphin use the aqua dolphin to discard a card get a card out of your hand and use this to summon out the shadow mist but this card also gives you access into draw power and recyclability so you can just go ahead and have free resources and just additional recyclability in the deck just so you can have more good cards like honestly the fact of the matter is this card is a draw that can just put your neos and also a hero back in deck and is also a free shadow mist to go ahead and get the mass change which i just really really do like how a card like this is just able to make heroes just a completely different strategy from what they currently are because heroes right now have been very very reliant on just relying on forest relying on increase relying on fusion destiny recently and this card can actually make me think of a couple of different ways to actually play hero and i'm really excited to see what i'm able to do with this card thanks to that but guys that is the first card in this video the new hero card let's actually get onto the crystal beasts now because we need to read those as well because i want to see what jesse addison's looking like next to Jaden. <laughs> like honestly we've got the crystal beasts let's go ahead and read them so let's begin so 
The first one is Advanced Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle. So it's just Ruby Carbuncle, but an advanced version. It's really the Dark and Sinister version. And for some reason, it is a light. I would have expected these to be dark monsters, but okay, Konami. So it is a level three light fairy effect monster, 300 attack, 300 defense. You can only use the third effect of this card's name once per turn. First effect, if Advanced Dark is not in your field spell zone, send this card to the graveyard. Okay, so you need the Advanced Dark's Field Spell to be able to play these. I think that was the same in the anime where you kind of needed both. Second effect, if this face-up card is destroyed in a main monster zone, you can place it in the Spell and Trap card zone as it continues spell instead of sending this Griever. Okay. Third effect, if this card is treated as a continuous spell, you can special summon it. Then you can special summon as many Advanced Crystal Beast monsters from your Spell and Trap zone as possible. Okay. That's actually pretty decent. You know why? Because this means that you actually have a way to summon Ruby Carbuncle for free, which honestly is one of the downsides to a lot of these Crystal Beast monsters that you can't really summon them from the Spell and Trap card zone for free, and just get as many other Crystal Beast monsters from your Spell and Trap card zone back onto the main monster zones, so you can go ahead and use them for all sorts of things. Now, obviously, they have to be destroyed to go to the Spell and Trap card zone still, which is uh, not the best, but honestly, I think it's actually pretty decent having the ability to just special summon Ruby Carbuncle herself and then go ahead and special summon as many other advanced Crystal Beast monsters as possible. That's pretty decent. But yeah, that's the first one. Hopefully the others do a lot more as well and we shall see. So what is the next one? So the next one is Amethyst Cat, okay, which is a level three earth beast effect monster, 1200 attack, 400 defense, and it has three effects just like the other one. So first effect, you have to control Advanced Dark, or it just sends itself to the graveyard. Second effect, your Advanced Crystal Beam monster can attack directly, but when they do so using this effect, the battle damage to your opponent is halved. So all Advanced Crystal Beast monsters can attack directly. Huh. Like... Interesting. Third effect is to put it in the Spencer God Zone, and all Advanced Crystal Beast monsters can attack directly. That's actually not bad. Having the ability to just attack with a ton of monsters on your opponent's face directly is always good. And I see no issue with this. Like, that's actually pretty decent. Third one is the level 3 Emerald Turtoise, which is a water monster aqua effect, 600 attack, 2000 defense. And you need advanced dark or it's sent to the graveyard. Second effect, once per turn, quick effect, you can target one face-up monster on the field, changes battle position. Okay, not the best effect in my personal opinion, but it could come up, I suppose. And then the third effect is, if it's destroyed, you can put it in the spell and trap card zone. All right, so just ways to put in trap card zone and also just changes battle positions. It's a quick effect as well, which is actually kind of decent, so you can do it during your opponent's turn. So if your opponent has like a lot of monsters and none of them are links and they're going into the battle phase, you can technically just turn a monster to defense mode and then just prevent them from attacking with that monster. So it's not that bad, but I think it could have maybe been better. Like, I don't know how, but I just don't think it's that insane. But going on, we have the Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger the advanced version and it's a level 4 earth beast effect monster 600 attack 1000 defense first effect is the same as the rest and second effect all advanced crystal beast monsters you control gain 400 attack and defense also all face up monsters your opponent controls lose 400 attack and defense i like that like so far i'm just seeing ways to make your things bigger attack directly and just do a lot of damage like this is actually pretty decent plus the fact that you can just make your opponent's monsters things smaller and make your things bigger especially seeing as the original topaz tiger i believe just increased itself by 400 attack when it attacked is actually pretty decent and the fact that you can do it on all of them I really like that. I like the fact that they have kind of like floodgate-esque effects for themselves, like continuous effects that just affect every single advanced crystal beast monster, because it means that the deck has ways to synergize with itself and can give itself more potential ways to play, which is actually pretty decent in my personal opinion so far. So I'm liking it, I'm liking it, but we shall continue on. So third effect, if this face up card is destroyed in the main monster zone, you can place it in your spell and trap card zone and a continuous spell instead of sending it to the graveyard, just like all the other crystal beasts. And then we go on to Amber Mammoth. Okay, what does Amber Mammoth do in its advanced form? 1700 attack, Earth Beast effect, level 4. Okay, uh, if the field spell is not on the board, it dies. Second effect, once per turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets an advanced crystal monster, slash or advanced dark you control, quick effect negate the activation. This is going to be one you're going to want on the board at all times. For the pure fact that if your opponent activates Cosmic Cyclone, MST, anything along those lines to so go ahead and get rid of your advanced dark, this card says negate. 
So that's actually really decent, just having the ability to just go ahead and negate your opponent's ability to, you know, just wipe your board. Because what I'm getting from this deck, the Advanced Crystal Monsters, is that this is very akin to Toon Monsters, where if they don't have the field spell, or they don't have Toon World, or in this case, Advanced Dark, then you're just not going to be able to do a lot and you're just going to die because they just kill themselves when they hit the board. So having ways to protect your advanced dark is also very good, which I think is great for this deck as well. So let's continue on though. So third effect is once per turn when your advanced crystal beast monster is targeted for an attack, you can negate the attack. So also has battle protection, which is actually pretty decent. Just having the ability to prevent your opponent from attacking some of your monsters is always nice. And it's just an additional bonus on the fact that this card has the ways to protect your targeting effects and also has the ability to protect you from battle. So lots of decent effects just into these crystal beast monsters and could actually see some play. I don't know if it'll be meta, but it's definitely looking like a decent kind of way to play crystal beasts. But the fourth effect is the same as the rest. If it dies, it goes into the spell and trap card zone. Okay, so next though, we have Crystal Beast Cobalt Eagle, which is a level four winged beast effect monster, 1400 attack, 800 defense. And same as the rest, first effect, it dies if there's no advanced dark. Second effect, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard, add one advanced dark from your deck to your hand. Okay, so it's got the obvious effect of literally just go ahead and discard or send it from the field to the graveyard to then go ahead and just get your field spell so you can play the game not bad having the ability to just do that to get your field spell access is always nice and um, the fact that you can just send it from your field means it allows you to kind of siphon out your really bad cards like say if you've got multiple advanced dogs in your deck then this card can just go ahead and send it to the graveyard and just get another one so it has multiple ways to protect you from losing your advanced dark and also has the ability to search advanced dark which i think is really decent third effects though once per turn you can target one advanced crystal beast monster you control either return it to the hand or place it on top of the deck so it also has the ability to kind of just put things back on top of your deck i don't know why you would want to do that or just return it to your hand but i don't know maybe you would want to just put like <laughs> I don't know, a Pegasus back in your hand because Pegasus has the ability to put more into your spell and trap card zone if the advanced Crystal Beast Pegasus can do that. But I don't know why else you would really want to do that outside of maybe just like gaining an effect to normal summon again. That's all I could really see. And then fourth effect is the same as the rest where it can just put itself in the spell and trap card zone. And the next one is Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus, which is a winged beast effect monster. 1800 attack, 1200 defense, first effect, if there's no advanced dark, it dies. Second effect, if this card is summoned, you can place one of your advanced crystal beast monsters that is banished in your hand, deck, or graveyard face up in your spell and trap card. So, okay, this is actually really, really better than just the normal Pegasus because you can do it from your banished hand, deck, or graveyard. So, say you've got your Carbuncle in your banished zone, this card can go ahead and place it from your banished zone. It means that you can only need to play like one of each of the bad ones. So you can play like only one Carbuncle because you only need one to be able to special summon it. You can play one Turtle because if you don't need multiple Turtles. You can play one uh, Amethyst Cat because you don't need to play multiple Cats. The Pegasus essentially says that no matter what, you have the ability to get to any crystal beast so you really only need to play one of each of the other crystal beasts except maybe like the tiger because tiger literally just says you can boost yourself by a ton of attacks so if you have like three of these on the board that's an additional 1200 attack points so like 28 on a lot of things is really really nice but honestly that's not bad just having the ability to play them from anywhere it's really nice and if this has an additional effect i think it's going to be even more insane so no but the third effect is if this card is destroyed put it in the spell and trap card zone so yeah um honestly looking at the crystal beast support here it's not actually that bad i think there are ways it could have been potentially better such as not having that stupid toon world effect where if you don't just have advanced dark on the board you can't play the game but overall i don't think this was that bad i think it has a lot of utility and the advanced crystal beast monsters 
I mean, they're pretty decent. Like, Am Mammoth has protection from battle and targeting negation. Tiger can literally just go ahead and increase your stuff by 1200 if you've got three of it, and then decrease your opponent's stuff by 1200 if you've got three of it, which is really, really decent. You've got Turtle that can just be like, oh yeah, quick effect change your thing to defense so you can't touch me, which is actually kind of nice. And you've got something like Amethyst Cat that can just make you attack directly with everything, which is also really decent. But my two favorite things I'm going to say here is one, they made Carbuncle even stronger for the fact that it can just special summon itself and special summon as many from the spell and trap card zone as possible, which I think is really, really strong. Just having the ability to summon like four monsters from the spell and trap card zone, including itself, meaning five, I think is absolutely insane and can have a lot of potential there. And I really like how they've made Pegasus just be able to play it from literally anywhere, literally putting a cat from your banish zone, putting a cat from your hand, putting a cat from your graveyard into the spell and trap card zone or the carbuncle, especially into the spell and trap card zone, I think is really, really good. And honestly, I can see why you would want to use the Cobalt Eagle now, just so you can return the Pegasus to the hand and then normal summon the Pegasus again or summon it again for a different means just so you can go slightly further and have more plays there but guys that is all i actually have to say for this video honestly i do think this crystal beast support is really really nice it's really decent do i think it's super competitive no uh like it's really hard to make crystal beast competitive and from what i'm seeing here yes they have a lot more synergy yes they have a lot more power but again they're just not that great in my personal opinion and the best way you could probably play this deck is maybe i don't know try to get as many on the board as possible make some link plays summon pegasus multiple times find a way to do that and then just use carbuncle to go ahead and summon as many as you want from the spell and trap card zone as possible that's the best way i could possibly see this deck being played and yeah that's all i have to say about that the new hero card though i have to say is a pretty much a I would say an 8 out of 10 because you have to only use an elemental hero monster on your spatial monster but nonetheless being able to summon out shadow mist from the deck for free absolutely insane and i really love it but guys that is all i actually have to say for these cards what do you think of this new hero card what do you think of these new crystal beast cards i'd love to hear your thoughts about them in the comment section below and yeah guys that's all i have to say thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment, subscribe give me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next one robot one signing out Later on.